Christmas. Summer is here. And I wish I could look like Kimo G's in her new hot bikini outfit. Well, there's only one thing to do. It's time to start training. A few moments later. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Unison Lee gameplay. And today we have our third UR monster event, Alice the Wonder. And so today I will be showing you guys what this awesome awesome new monster is and I highly recommend any class and I mean any class to get this monster she is a superb offensive green monster best one in the game right now she is way better than the uh, the green dragon that you can get from the rare summons and she has an ability that hits 160 with the total of 200 at max level and her debuff is that she reduces action speed basically a slow for 25 seconds meaning that enemy targets will receive a smaller and slower uh, cost regeneration and this event also has a chance of giving some unique cosmetics you have the gear for cosmetic uh, gear for Alice and you have the gear for a what looks to be like a rabbit master or some kind of guy that likes to wear a hat with rabbit ears. This also gives you two um, super rare monsters. Um, I think the best one in my opinion is the uh, light one because it gives a, a, a little small haste boost as well as increased attack for people. I really like this monster. If you were to get one I'd say get this one. And yep. Alright so I'm gonna guys I'm gonna show you the dungeon. I'll be doing maybe four. We'll see how well it goes. Uh, I think my I think my abilities are set appropriately. Oh, all right. I'm gonna go change this real fast. I'll take this and perhaps I will take. Uh, this is fine. All right. So I'm gonna do two runs or no, three to four runs. Oh my God, I am not doing two runs. That'd be like the shortest video ever. All right. So this dungeon is relatively easy, however, unlike most uh, the other dungeons for Absterus the Ice Dragon or Nyx the Dark Blinding Lady that I really hate, uh, this dungeon is relatively really long when you get towards the end. On the last two tier, Elite and I think Adventurer or whatever the last one is, it's about 9 waves and that tends to get exhausting so I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you have a proper team with a proper gear score otherwise you're, you're probably just gonna die because it gets really ridiculous and so the first few dungeons they aren't super difficult um, you can just stab your way through it if you're, you're starting out at first I'd recommend everyone doesn't matter what you're playing I'd recommend just going for the white rabbit first and the black then Alice the reason why is because the white rabbit gives attack buff and taste buff to Alice so you want to get rid of him as soon as possible. The dark rabbit debuffs you and gives you a slow. So the most efficient way to killing this uh, this boss on a uh, higher difficulty or any difficulty is just to get rid of the white rabbit, the dark rabbit, then Alice. And if I'll show you some uh, strategies to use later on, but basically what you want to do in the higher level ones is uh, have one person take balancing, or two people take balancing, because when the rabbit starts giving buffs to Alice, if you're at like the last two difficulties for Alice dungeon, then she can just one shot you. I remember when I did the dungeon with some guildmates. Uh, we had a soldier that was a cleric with 44,000 HP, and Alice one shot at her. <laughs> it was like the most funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen someone go down that fast ever. But luckily for him, that run turns out to be an Alice drop for him, so he got really lucky there. Uh, definitely a gem worth spending, but I wouldn't recommend spending gems on death 
but that's just me. I'd rather just use that gem to do more runs to get more chances of getting Alice. So like I told you guys, the first two aren't that difficult, but then again I have like 64k gear score with like 24,000 attack, so it's pretty easy for me. Nothing, nothing too scary. Also, once you get to the higher difficulty ones, there will be a couple monsters that you'll see that has Mirror Guard, and you really want to watch out for that because I've how many times have I seen people just see the mirror go up and they just stab themselves or meteor themselves for like 30,000 damage and instantly die. And it's because you can't rush your attacks because if you rush it, you're probably going to kill yourself. And that's the least of your wor it's the least thing you want to do because if you're trying to farm Alice like I am, you don't want to spend gems on revival. You'd rather just spend gems on doing multiple runs to have more chances to get an Alice. So I finished the first two dungeons. They aren't they aren't that difficult, but uh, later on they'll get slightly more difficult to the point where you have to have haste. I'm gonna go ahead and set up haste right now. Uh, right. So I'm gonna go set up haste right now because I'm starting to get to the difficult ones. Um, generally, what if you need a haste monster and you don't have one? Um, eggs tend to be one of the most generic monsters you can use for neutral. Um, let's see if I have any, oops, I don't want to use this guy, I think I have one gold egg, so yeah, I'll set up a gold egg right here, this will lower your gear score, but at the end of the day, it's worth it just to have the haste buff, and haste buff just makes your cost regeneration a lot faster, so I can spam more skills with, uh, don't having, not having to worry about, uh, cost efficiency or cost usage, so you can just keep spamming and spamming, no big deal. And so this event came out last Thursday, and I've been doing this run for a while. Honestly, I think I've done it like every single day, like 20, 30 runs every single day. And right now, I haven't had any luck, but some of my guild members already have like three or four, and that's really <laughs> driving me nuts because I really want Alice really badly, because I really need that green monster, and I really need a attack. Uh, bonuses that I'm getting from the green monster because right now um, I'm using a green monster that gives around 2200 attack or 2300 and a Alice with max unique stats on Lancer the attack buffs, the attack buffs gives around 37 to 3800 attack which is a 1600 increase in attack which is a lot for a, a Lancer but so if you're like a Lancer or a Lancer, Mage, or a Archer, I highly recommend getting an Alice. But it doesn't mean that any other classes uh, doesn't need her. I recommend getting her in general because she gives a slow debuff, which is really good for some monsters and for guild battles, most definitely. Okay, so, so far, the first three are pretty simple. I say if you have around a decent gear score, like 40,000, 50,000, you can do the first three pretty easily. You don't need, really need a team. All you need to do is worry about not hitting Alice when she has the mirror guard up because you're risking one shotting yourself, and that's really bad. Alright, so more gold, more gold, more gold. So the first three dungeons don't have a really high drop rate. I haven't seen anyone yet gone any Alice's from the first three or four dungeons. Um, the most efficient way to farm is, I'll show you guys, it's the 36 AP one, which is the rank 24 one. Starting from there, that's the most comfortable way of farming her because you don't need to get a team. A, you can just queue up and just grab some randoms and start doing it. But I recommend you have at least some what decent gear score before attempting it because even though it's comfortable, you still need decent gear score to be able to attempt it. And you don't want to be dying every couple seconds just because you can't do it. This one right here is the one you want to farm. Or no, no, this is the one you want to farm. This is the 30 rank one. This one's okay, but it's not as high drop rate as compared to the last three. And the last three are the ones where most people get Alice's from. So I'm think, I think I have enough AP to do all five. We'll see. 
But right or starting around, I say the fourth or fifth one is when you start requiring some teammates. Um, not you don't have to have just strong teammates, but they're better than CPUs. So having any teammates are somewhat useful, in my opinion. Because CPUs, what do they do? You just stand there. Even the cleric sometimes just attack without even healing. Like, oh, I see you're at five HP. Let me just swing my book at this guy for one damage rather than heal you. All right, I got him, guys. I'm doing damage. Oh wait, you're all dead. It doesn't even matter anymore. Because <laughs> of slowly, because the CPUs are gonna slowly kill themselves if you have no damage. Also, if you guys want to get the uh, cosmetics, um, I've only found the hat so far on my main account. And basically, there's going to be a monster called a Jabberwock. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen them in, in boss rushes. And instead of Jabberwock, the stage before Alice, you'll have a rare bunny pop-up. When the rare message pops up, you have a chance of getting a drop from the rabbit. And that gold drop tends to be a cosmetic item. And the drop rates are, I guess, somewhat low because I've only found one so far. But... If you guys really want them, I'd recommend getting them because they look pretty nice. They have somewhat decent stats. And hopefully, like the Nyx gear, they'll be able to be upgraded to UR, maybe in the near future. So grabbing one of those will be really, really good for you guys if you want. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and kill this white rabbit. Alright. Good, good, good. Kill this guy. Alright, rabbit is gone. And then I can slowly work on Alice. So, some of those te uh, techniques of beating her is when she says, Oh dear, you stop attacking immediately because right there she's gonna put up a mirror guard and that will just screw you over. So, some, some of her attacks, like Hush Oh Baby, that just does paralysis. The two moves you wanna really watch for is the Oh dear, which she does the mirror guard, and Typhoon. It's gonna be like something Typhoon. And that's the part where she's going to use a 90% skill because all UR monsters have a 90% skill that brings your health down to 10% HP regardless of what it is. So you want to dodge that and the best way of dodging is either to unison, unison right there and then because that way you won't get hit. Or if you do take the hit you can either heaven's breath or heal back up really quickly. Um, there's usually like a four, three to four seconds interval right after she uses it. So take the time to heal up, because if not, she's probably going to attack you again and probably kill you. Alright, so more gold. Um, if I have AP, I think I'll do one more run for you, with, for you guys, because I think this is pretty easy right now. Yeah, and starting from two, ooh, I got the black rabbit. So right here, you can get the rabbits here. Um, starting from tier four and up, you start getting some super rare lemons. So that's pretty nice to have, and this is a good way to stock up on proficiency. A very, very nice way to get some proficiency. I think no, I don't have enough cost for this. All right, so I think that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Um, fortunately, I'm out of AP, and I can't do any more runs. For the newer, for, I prefer doing the higher difficulty ones, it's just so I can have a higher drop rate. But you know, I can't control my own AP, and hopefully, I can get higher levels so I can do higher, more ranks for you guys. But yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you all enjoy it. Um, if you guys have any questions on the new event, please let me know. Leave a comment below. If you guys like this video, and I hope you guys do, because that's why I make it for you guys. Then give me a like that like button give me that thumbs up give me that thumbs up in the air and if you want to see more videos from me which I really hope you do because that's the reason why I make videos for you guys is because I want all of you to enjoy my videos then give me a subscription but that's the end of this that's the end of this video guys um, I hope you guys have better luck than me farming Alice get a lot of them out there and I'll see you guys next time peace